Well, okay. we came off a, an extremely difficult loss where we missed two free throws, missed a layup, and we sort of had the hangover from that. We started the game pressing as well as any time this year, and then as soon as Elijah got in foul trouble, every, our fortunes turned the other way. I had a long talk with Elijah, and I said, there's a formula for you to play like the best point guard in the nation, and the formula is for you to be a point guard. And he was tonight. He was terrific tonight. Five for six, didn't take a three, four for five from the line, three rebounds, and two steals, and he played a great floor game when everybody else didn't really have it. So you got to steal wins like this, and we stole this game. We stole the Maris game in Maris, and we do it by playing great basketball like we have all year in the final five minutes of the game. When tonight, we were as good defensively as any team I've coached with 47 deflections against St. Louis. And tonight, we were as bad as any team I've ever coached defensively until the f uh, seven minute mark. Question pass. Do you think the experience of the way the game went at St. Louis helped here? I think we said in the, in the huddle, this is our time. We've been through it all year. With five to go in the game, we know we can win the game. And we did. Was there something that uh, you know Fairfield did from three-point range, or were there defensive lapses that allowed them to shoot as well as they did? There were a few, but look, look, look I've been coaching a long, long time. When you shoot 51% from the field, 50% from the three, um, and the other team shoots three for 17 from the three, and you win the game, you're doing, you're doing a lot of great things at crunch time. And the team didn't get discouraged. They just talked about winning, and they, they called it gale time. They said, this is gale time right now. This is what we did. we've been doing all year. It's gale time right now, win the game. And they did. Made a great dunk, made a great play, made, got a great defensive stop, played the hammer at the end extremely well and blocked the shot. What and triggers things for your team in the last five minutes? I think practice triggers it more than anything else because we, we practice so many game situations. Okay, we're down one, we're at the foul and this is what we're going to do. It's winning time. Um, right now, we've our bench is not as strong as it's been. Um, and we've got to get back to using our bench. Tonight we didn't, but we, we, you know, we had Nelly playing 36 minutes. Um, we had Tyson playing uh, 33 minutes, but we're going to play a war on Friday, and then we're going to play another war, and then another war. We got three games, so we just got to do what, we, what we've been doing, and uh, we haven't played for a long period of time, and now we're going to be playing two or three games a week. And uh, what were your thoughts on five different players for you scoring in double figures? Do you think that that was a testament to how much this was a team win? really was a team win because if, if, if you didn't know the final score and you just looked at the stat sheet and you saw 51%, 50 from three, the other team is shooting 58% from the line, you're saying, oh, without question, they have won the game. So it's quite a testament to these guys that they can be that mentally tough, not get discouraged at all, and come back and win that game. Um, okay. What will it take for your bench to be a factor again? Well, Walt's coming off food poisoning and he didn't practice the day before, so I think he'll be ready. Um, I think Quinn's got to pay more attention to scouting reports. Um, and I think he'll be fine. But I, I think he can depend on, on Elijah, Tyson, um, Nelly, Dylan. I think they're ready to play. Uh, I don't think Osborne Sheen is ready to play. So we'll go with uh, we'll go with Trey as a backup. We'll go with Jordan a little bit more, but we're not going to be really deep. Uh, we're not an overly deep team, but we'll use the bench. We're going to have to because of all these games coming up. What would you say has kind of been the biggest difference between uh, last year's team and this year's in terms of late game execution? Is it just a matter of you know being more experienced this year, or being more confident, or being more mature? Um, what, what would you say has kind of been the difference? I thought last year we were limited in who could score. I think really it was our backcourt Asante and Ross could score. 
Nelly was half the score and that was it. It was just like the Alabama game when, when we, we were up and they just said, I'm locking Ross down. And then it was over for us. So right now we have many different ways to score. I thought Barrick was much more aggressive tonight offensively. He had three steals, three assists. I think he was looking to score. He made two threes. So Barrick has not had a good year, been hurt a lot, and he's starting to come back. But I thought, there's no question in my mind tonight, Elijah Joyner won the game for us. No question. In recent games, you've been saying in the press conferences that you wanted Nelly to be more aggressive, more aggressive, more aggressive. And today, he seemed more aggressive. Did you feel that too? He's getting there. He's getting there. Um, there's no reason to be this poor free throw shooting team. We got some fundamentals we need to work on on the foul line. But Nelly had 20 points, 14 rebounds. But he's got to do things that are, that are, in other words, we've been telling him, well, you stop dribbling the basketball. And then when you, when you do dribble it, pick it up, pivot, and make a pass. And his, his turnover rate, dribbling the basketball, is so high and scary, and we've got to get him to stop doing that. Um, Elijah, just first off, uh, you know, thoughts on the way that you guys were able to execute once again in, in late game situations? Uh, we're a team that, you know, you got to play 40 minutes of basketball to beat us. You know, you can't play 35 good minutes. You got to play a, a full 40 minutes. And, you know, we, we battle tested. We've been here before. This hasn't, there's nothing we haven't seen before. So we just persevered. We just fight through and we was able to come out with the win tonight. Winning close games, uh, early on in the year, and then you had the experience of Marist, but then you had the negative experience in St. Louis. Did that help tonight? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, uh, the grad students, me and Tyson, you know, we felt that, you know, we kind of lost the game, even though coach said that, you know, it was other things that lost the game. You know, we took it, we took it very personal, and we wanted to come out tonight, and I made free throws at the end, and he came up with a big dunk. So, you know, we, we felt like we did what we were supposed to do tonight to help our team come out with the victory. Could you describe the conversation you had with Coach? Um, he told us that you guys had a conversation where he's trying to mold you into being a true point guard. Uh, he got on me. He got on me. He told me I, I haven't been the point guard that he wants me to be. And you know, he told me tonight I was the point guard that he was looking for. You know, I was aggressive. I wasn't, you know, hunting for threes, kind of like I've been doing all season. Not necessarily hunting, but taking challenge shots, and I don't even think I took a three tonight. So, you know, I was doing what I do, you know, and he gave me the confidence and got on me. You know, I felt like I was, I responded. I responded to his motivation to me, and I was just glad that I was able to provide that for my teammates tonight. Uh, when a team like Fairfield is shooting the lights out like that, um, you know, at what point did you feel like you guys were starting to turn it around, and, and how do you guys kind of mentally put up with that? Uh. Like I said, you got to play 40 minutes of basketball. You know, they they shot the ball extremely great, you know, and we understood that they were a good shooting team. We knew that their personnel was very good at shooting the basketball. So, you know, things happened. They made tough shots, but at the end of the day, we buckled down and we, we scored more points than them to win the game. Three-point three, try, three point shooting has been kind of inconsistent for you guys this year. Um, another a game today where they just weren't going down. What 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 is it? What do you? Because there's some good shooters in this team, and the threes aren't going down. What do you think is causing it? Uh, I don't think that I don't think it's that we have bad shooters. We actually have really good shooters, but I think we take a lot of contested shots, and we don't get enough movement to penetrate and kick and get our shooters open shots. You know, I think once we get to that point, like we we still got we got new guys on this team. So like, even though we're 12 and three right now, we're still figuring each other out. So once we get that clicking. Hopefully we could get a click in a little bit before March, and we're going to be a, a tough team to see when March comes. It's a credit to your team how well you play down the stretch throughout the season, but is there a sense as to why it's taking so long into a game for you guys to play as well as you do down the stretch? Uh, honestly, I, I don't really know. I mean, you know, we're not really shooting the ball well, you know, but... We just we just find a way. I mean, I really, I wish I could, you know, give you an explanation for that. But at the end of the day, we just find a way to win, and hopefully, we can keep doing that to stay in the win column. Down the stretches of these games where you guys have played better and, and asserted yourselves, you, 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 I think it's like you guys have realized, all right, we're not making threes, so let's go inside more. 
-hmm. Is that a conscious thing that you guys are talking about in huddles? Uh, not necessarily. You know, we we work on shooting the ball every day. You know, we that's we, that's what we do. You know, we we work on it. So I mean, we take our shots, our open shots, but you know, we understand that it's a time to be aggressive. So you know, getting to the basket, throwing the ball inside to Nelly, letting Dylan get his touches and. You know, Barrick and Tyson being aggressive, and you found myself being aggressive tonight. So that's just what we got to keep doing in order to come out with the win. That's what we're going to do. What does it's Gale time mean to you? It's Gale time? Yeah. Coach said that it was a refrain in the huddle kind of down the stretch again today. Uh, It's Gale time meaning it's winning time. So at the end of the day, we knew we played bad for most of the game, but at the end of the game, it's, it's time to win. So that's exactly what it's game time means. <laughs> All right, thank you guys.